Hi everybody, this is a short video to get us started for our surveying class for the spring of 2021. So the first thing I've shown here on my screen is the uh, homepage for my.nwc.edu. And whether you are in engineering surveying or practical surveying, you'll access our class underneath this Moodle logo uh, on a, a on a tab that says engineering surveying, uh, and then it says ES 2070, ES 2670. Now yours may not look exactly like this, but whatever class you're in, if you access through that tab, you are going to be golden. So the first thing I want to do is just to show you what our page looks like and tell you when we'll meet and how to navigate um, this course so that you can be successful. I also want to tell you that I am available for help all of the time. So you can email me at my college email address, astra.northrup at nwc.edu, or you can text me, and my phone is 307-272-1833. Those are the best ways to get a hold of me. We can schedule face-to-face -face meetings uh, in between our face-to-face -face labs, which will occur at irregular times, which I'll discuss in this video. Um, but anytime that you need to get a hold of me, don't hesitate to do so. I know that some students are hesitant to text their instructors, and I really do not want you to be hesitant at all. Um, I expect it, and it's very helpful to me because then I know what you need help with, where you're going, and what we can do to get you where you need to be. All right, so the first thing is when all of our class material is going to be held here in our Moodle page, and the the way that this works is um, you'll notice that I have two syllabi. One of them is for engineering surveying and one of them is for practical surveying. Now the labs for these two courses will meet together. There are a total of 14 of us so it'll be a super big lab and it'll be a lot of fun. We're going to meet at irregular times. The first lab day that we're going to have is going to be uh, not this coming Friday, which is January 15th, but the Friday after that, January 22nd. And we'll meet across the hall from my office in SM 120 at 10 a.m. Then we're going to go outside and do three labs. Uh, the first three labs, which the material for those labs is right here. So what I want you to do is to um, watch this lecture. When you see this thing that looks like a paper clip, that's a lecture. All of my lectures are on YouTube. Watch the lecture, uh, read through this pre-lab workout, and then you can take a look at lab one, two, and three. Lab one, two, and three are procedures. That's what we're actually going to do when we get outside. Now we're meeting at this irregular time for a long time. We're meeting for up to six hours on Friday, January 22nd. And then we will not be meeting again for probably a month or so. Now, um, we will prepare for those other meetings that we have. It's going to just kind of depend on how COVID goes, how much accessibility we have to campus equipment and so forth. But we'll meet for a total of approximately 12 lab periods. So what we're doing on Friday, uh, January 22nd, we'll, take a, we'll cover about one fourth of the lab material that we need to cover together. So that's the good news. Um, so in order to follow along, I'm going to show you the syllabi. Uh, this one is for engineering surveying and everything on here explains to you uh, how the class is going to work. We have a copy of the textbook, which is elementary surveying and introduction to geomatics, 14th edition or other, uh, with the authors Gilani and Wolf. Uh, any edition of this textbook will work as long as the title is Elementary Surveying and one of the authors is Wolf, the edition will work. So if you're able to find a less expensive textbook for elementary surveying, please do so. I'm going to pause this video for just a minute and I'll start up again uh, in just a moment, but I'm going to pause because I want to show you some of the materials um, that I have for you and that you will have to get for this class. So the first thing you'll notice on your syllabus, whether you are in practical surveying or 
engineering surveying is it references that you will need a field book. And as the note says, I will provide the field book. They look like this. There's some specific um, requirements, which I'll go over. It's also in the notes that are on your web page, the, on the Moodle page that I've asked you to look at. But these will be given to you. So on the first day, I'll have these available to you. The second thing is the textbook. Uh, we've talked a little bit about the elementary surveying uh, by Wolf and Gelani, or um, let me just show you. There are different editions of this text, and they will all work very well. Um, and so the basic textbook is one of these. This is the one that I mostly lecture from, but as you can see, there are several other editions. This is the 15th. Uh, this is the 14th. The one um, that I lecture from is, I'm not even sure what edition this is, but there are several different, but as long as it's this basic book, uh, here's another edition, they will all work just fine. The problems will be a little bit different, but it doesn't matter. I can, I'll, I'll grade it, um, I'll grade your homework assignments regardless of which, um, of which textbook you are working from. Okay, so let's come back over here to the engineering surveying class. Here we go. Now, if you're in practical surveying, the textbook is not available online. So it's in the library or I can loan it to you, but it's uh, this textbook. It's called Practical Surveying for Technicians. So that is also, if you take a look at the syllabus for practical surveying, you'll see that there is, it tells you that this is the the textbook. Um, so you can use it at the Hinkley Library or I can loan it to you. You can probably get it online if you find one for a few bucks and it's easier for you. Uh, that's terrific. You're welcome to do that, but you don't have to. All right. So how will the class work aside from the times that we spend together? So we're going to have a couple of weeks, um, a week and a half before we actually meet face to face. And in the meantime, what you'll do is come to our uh, Moodle page and take a look at the introductory material, go through the syllabi, uh, take a look at the labs that we're going to on the first day, and then here is your first assignment. So you'll notice it always says either engineering surveying or practical surveying. Engineering surveying, uh, if you want, you will watch this video and then you will do this assignment from the textbook. Practical surveying, this week there is no video. Uh, you could watch this, so you'll find it interesting and helpful, but you're not required to watch the video, and then you'll do the homework at the end of the chapter. Now, when you're done with the homework at the end of the chapter, whichever class you're in, you'll submit using this button. And one of my students a long time ago said uh, to remember submit for success. So anytime you see the submit button, that means you have to turn something in. Those are the assignments that you're graded on for your homework. The lab assignments uh, I will grade while we are in class, while we're in lab together face to face, but the uh, other stuff will come through the Moodle page. Now, if you have trouble with scanning material or submitting through Moodle, please let me know. Um, I also want to let you know that I'm not you, even though there are deadlines for the homework, those deadlines are to keep us on task. They are not firm deadlines. So if you're a little bit late, you're not going to lose any credit. If you have a significant problem and you're going to be significant late, I'd really like you to talk to me about it. Um, and if you have any trouble with your homework, uh, I would like you to talk to me about that as well. Now, one of the things I want to, everybody wants to know, which is a good thing to know, how am I going to get the grade that I want in this class? And the answer is for both of these courses, there are four elements and each one of those elements are worth 25% of your grade. We'll have a midterm exam in March, which will be either face-to-face -face or proctored using Zoom. We'll have a final exam in May, same thing, face-to-face -face or proctored using Zoom. Uh, then we have homework assignments, which will add up to be 25% of your grade. And the lab exercises, including the field notes taken in the field books, which I will provide for you, uh, will also be worth 25% of your grade. So what that means is, is that we will have this lab time together beginning January 22nd uh, and then having irregular intervals, which we will, you'll always get lots of advance notice for that. Um, the homework will be done on your own 
and then the midterm and final exams will be done either face-to-face -face or via Zoom at a chosen prescribed time. So for now, the way to get started is to read through the syllabus, to go through this material, to submit your homework by January 29th or thereabouts, then to read through the lab exercises and meet me in SM120 right here at 10 a.m. on Friday, January 22nd. Now this is also brought up in the syllabus and on the lab, the pre-work um, and on the lab exercises, but it's very important that you come dress for weather. Uh, surveyors go out in all kinds of inclement weather. So first of all, please don't wear open-toed shoes even if it's a beautiful day because we will be working with equipment. If it's cold, uh, you may want to bring whatever your cold wear gear is, uh, hats, gloves, scarves, boots, car hearts, ski jackets, whatever it is that it is that makes you comfortable when you're outside. But rest assured, we will go outside regardless of how awful the weather is. So please be prepared. Now, once again, the most important thing with all of this is we've got some dates. I'll see you on Friday, January 22nd at 10 a.m. Um, get going with your homework, read through the lab exercises, and either email me or text me at 307-272-1833 if you have any other questions. I'm really looking forward to this semester. We have a big class and it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, if you have any questions, get a hold of me. Otherwise, I will see you on January 22nd.